everyone once again here from Turkey so in this video we're going on a bit of a road trip so the last video was in Kash a beautiful beach town and we just rented a car from there so the car is 45 euros a day but then we have to pay an extra fee because we're gonna leave it in Antalya we're not taking it back to the same place and that's pretty expensive so the drop-off fee is uh, 60 euros to drop it off there but yeah that's what we're gonna do so we're just driving along the coast now really a beautiful drive before it was mountainous but yeah right now it's a coastal one and every now and again a little beach appears and this part is pretty empty because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere so yeah kind of empty beaches really nice empty beaches so right now we're heading to a spot called Olympus and then after that we're gonna go to a place called Adrasan which is where we're going to be staying and from there we're gonna be doing a boat tour tomorrow to an amazing island that's the main reason that we've come here so from Cash it's about a two hour drive but a two hour beautiful drive really cool really different so we're kind of surrounded by forest everywhere and these cool cliffs similar kind of cliffs that we saw in like all of Denise so this place also has uh, hostels it's more of like a hippie backpacker place from what we saw you can definitely see that from the appearance of the, the guest houses and the restaurants it's hard to even know uh, what's what it's all covered in trees yeah, that's a restaurant. I wanted to stay in uh, one of the glamping places. There are many options here, but since it's so hot, I thought it wouldn't be a good idea, at least not in this time of the year when yeah. it's so hot. Peak summer. Yeah. So we just had to pay 25 liras to park. And this is also an archeological site, Olympus. So we got these tickets here for 90. So it's cool, you get two in one. It's a archeological site. And if you keep walking, you arrive at the beach. So we're gonna get beach and a history all in one here. So this place is an ancient Greek and Roman city from around the third century BC. Oh, the ruins are still standing pretty well. Some sites that we go to are just a bunch of rocks on the ground, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's nice when we find the ones like this that are a bit more preserved. Ah, it says here that it was a uh, church, church number one. So probably going to be seeing a lot of churches. Ah, it says that it only collapsed in 1969 because of a flood. There is a river behind here. Right now it's dry. So I said the river is dried up, but this part here near the sea, there's still a bit of water. Down there, there's no water at all. I don't know if this comes in from the sea. Got some ruins on that side too. So the water at this part is still flowing. This looks like a man-made river because there's rocks on either side. Doesn't look natural. Yeah, I can still see some uh, columns. I don't know, some parts of the city down there. Oh yeah, over there. It goes up to the top. Oh yeah, all the way to the top. I wonder if that would have been like a fortress or a castle. Okay, it gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> bigger than we expected. Yeah, definitely. So in this building is the tomb of a leader that was called Marcus Aurelius Archepolis from Olympus, from this city. And he served as the head of the Lycian League. I said his family is also in here. So yeah, there's like two tombs. Can't really tell which one is his, maybe that one. <laughs> so here we have a sarcophagus, which is exactly the same kind that we saw in Kaj. We saw it in quite a few spots, pretty much identical. 
So I did mention Lycia in uh, some of the other videos. So that that was this region at the time. I think it's from like Dalian to modern day Antalya. That was all called uh, Lycia. And this was one of the six major cities in the Lycian League at the time. Oh, that is Ooh. extra nice and cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, this thing seems to never end. You go exploring more and more in the woods and other buildings appear, like this one. Now we're bathing like the ancient Greeks and the Romans. The water is very, very cold. It's ice cold. Yeah. It's not That's just cold. That's why I'm doing this because uh, something bit me, like uh, an insect or a mosquito, I don't know. And now I have something. It's weird. all swollen. Yeah, swollen like a big lump. Is that how you call it? Yeah, a big lump. And yeah, I just needed a knife, some <laughs> kind of ice to make it less. Um, uh, cool and this is, this is what I have <laughs> right now. Yeah, this is definitely how they cool down back in the day because if it's like this in the summer, can't imagine how cold it must be in the winter. So we come to a much nicer part now. So this is one of the ruins with the tombs. Cows falling all over the place. You okay there, Carol? <laughs> yeah. Just get, get, just get right in like me. <laughs> no. Too cold. Too cold. I just want to put my legs. <laughs> Should I go in? Well, it's my up body's to you. gonna be all numb. <laughs> yeah. Just go. You won't feel anything. <laughs> it is ice cold. <laughs> Wim Hof. <Wim -ho. laughs> <laughs> Look at this for a cool entrance to the beach. So you have the river here. Incredible backdrops there. And here we go, the beach. So we only decided to come here last minute because Carol saw a picture of the beach, mainly because of that backdrop. She saw a picture, kind of like this. This was the picture. So we checked it out and then we found out that there were some ancient ruins there as well. Ah, the water on this beach is super beautiful though. Really transparent water. You can see it's a huge beach though. So even though it's super packed here, it looks a lot emptier down there. Looks like some boat tours come here as well, because, uh, yeah, there's a boat there. Maybe that's from where we're going to be staying, Adrasan. Yeah, probably. Wow, that is quite the view, though. Hi, everybody's here because of the shade, right? Yeah, there's some ruins there. Ah, even on the beach? Yeah. Cool. We got a nice spot in the shade here. So those are the castle ruins that we could see before. It's either a castle or some sort of fort. My guess is a castle. We saw a gate, but it was closed. You're not allowed up there anymore. Would have been cool to check that out.
it is the next morning now and we are here in Adrasan which is about 20 minutes away driving from Olympus and this is where we stayed so as you can see it's a completely undeveloped area you still get the same like mountainous views just like Olympus and right now we're just heading to the beach because we're gonna do a boat tour which is the reason that we came to this region and the deal that we got is 250 per person which is good because it's a full day tour and that also includes lunch so yeah pretty good price and here's some of the glamping spots you can do glamping around here pretty common and this right here is the main beach in Adrasan so it doesn't look as nice as the one in Olympus but we still get the amazing mountainous view Carol said that almost looks like a volcano yeah <laughs> yeah it really does look like a, a volcano but uh, also the good part of, of this beach is that it is sandy so ah yeah the other one was a pebbly beach but this one is sandy it's not white sand but still it's better to to swim and to lay down yeah to walk yeah i didn't i didn't notice that it is all sandy so maybe yeah you would prefer this i think the water is still the same and the boat that we're going on is just over here somewhere So we stopped at our first spot, took about 50 minutes to get here and we're gonna be staying here for about an hour and a half, two hours from what the guy said. It's like two little rocky beaches and we have no idea what's included in this tour, do we? I yeah, know, we only know about the main spot that's like the Maldives of Turkey, that's how they call it. The main island. Yeah, but other than that we don't know. I think there are a few stops before that and but it's funny that we don't see any foreigner here like uh, I think it's only Turkish uh, travelers yeah. not uh, foreigners <laughs> yeah I think this is still like a bit of a hidden gem for foreigners anyway obviously the Turkish know about it quite a lot of boats there So the guy said we're only staying here so long because of the conditions. It's very wavy right now. I think we're supposed to go to some other place, a cave or something. So that's why we're staying here all this time. But yeah, I'm not complaining. Good spot to hang out for two hours, definitely. These pebbly beaches hurt, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of the rocks are painful to walk on. Yeah, we definitely like the sandy beaches more. Now it is food time. So the food is pretty similar on all of the, the tours that we've been on. So you either get the fish or meat option. This is just uh, chicken here. Yeah, and it's pretty much been the same, isn't it? Like, sometimes rice instead of pasta. Yeah, we get loads of veggies too, and bread and flies. <laughs> Now we're at beach number two. This is a big beach called this. <laughs> Wobbly plank. So they call this beach American Beach. Unusual name. So the guy in the boat said it's because many years ago some uh, American warships ended up on this beach. They camped here. So ever since then the lo locals called it American Beach. And he also mentioned that there's fresh water coming out of this rock here that green area you can just see there's a green area 
all dry rock and just this little green area oh that's God. funny they have like a pipe yeah put a pipe in there water's coming out of that as well oh, it's freezing isn't it you just say you can drink it so this is the first time that we're gonna have tea and biscuits on the beach <laughs> I like the biscuits, Carol. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, tasty biscuits. This is the island that we mainly did the tour for. It's called Suluada and that kind of translates to water island because there's supposed to be a fresh water source on this island. Didn't realize that we'd be stopping in the cave though. So the guy said this spot is exclusive for him. We're gonna be here for an hour and then later on we're gonna go to one of the beaches. There's like two main beaches around here. He's just waiting for more boats to leave so that it's more relaxed. Yeah, the blue is so intense here, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, the guy said that the rock around here is kind of white on the floor. So, yeah, that's why it's a different color. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't even know how he climbed up there. That's some impressive rock climbing. This is the perfect swimming pool. <laughs> you can see like light rays. Yeah. I saw that once in a cenote. Yeah, I just <laughs> reminded that like in, in Mexico. Yeah, it's like we're in a cenote here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> and now we have arrived at what I think is the last stop of the day. And they save the best till last, I think. <laughs> yeah, wow. Look at this place. So we had tea on the last beach and on this beach we got some fruit i think watermelon is one of the best uh, fruit fruit yeah. for beaches we've been using it every day here in turkey all yeah. the breakfast they have it <laughs> very good so the island's very different to the mainland it's like uh, orange kind of brown over there you got some weird color it's like a greeny gray a bizarre island
So I'll put the contact info on the screen of this guy's tour. Not doing a partnership with him or anything, but it's just a really good tour. His whole objective is to try and avoid the other boats since it's such a popular place. Like this place now, when we arrived, he said in 10 minutes, all the other boats would be gone. And yeah, that's what's happened now. So we're the only boat here. And if it wasn't so wavy at the start, he would have gone to some other areas where all the other boats didn't go. Yeah, so it's a good tour to do if you want to avoid all the other people. Leaving Adrasan now, we're on our way to Antalya, which is where the next video should be. Now, we really enjoyed our time here. If we knew it was this cool and laid back, we would have probably spent less time in cash and more time here. Really enjoyed it. Now, one thing that's amazed us so far is just the mountainous scenery. I know we've commented on that, but we just really didn't expect it to be so much. I mean, basically, after we left Bodrum, it's just this constant mountainous scenery until now and that's like seven hours of you driving so it's like seven hours of just epic mountains and maybe even going towards Antalya it's still gonna be like that it looks like it so far so if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe if you like to see more follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next video.